Welcome back to another car just racing online video. It's your boy the Patrol and we are back at it again. And in today's video I got the setup for the arena. It's the car that we got in the last update that we had. Um the basically the car is pretty pretty okay, but there is still I think the same bug with the car sound. I think I'm not sure though. I haven't really gone into that that much. But yeah, I made a setup for this car. This car is pretty good, it's smooth definitely smooth but it's not one of the fast cars and stuff like that before we get into that make sure you have the ultimate setup otherwise you cannot tune everything and let's get to diagnostics so the front spring length is 13 for the rear same thing 13 for the front spring stiffness is 131 for the rear it's 141 first damper is 4030 rear damper is 3730 second damper is 3900 for the rear is 4000 third damper is 4800 third damper is 4800 for the rear it's 4150 for the fourth damper it's 4550 for the rear it's 3900 front toe is 0 0.10 rear toe is minus 0 0.18 front camber is minus 7.97 for rear it's minus 1.81 entry roll bar for the front i have zero for rear i have 10 caster is 8.7 acrimon angle is 57 percent actually i'm gonna tune this really quickly to 7.9 that's better in my opinion steering axis offset is 12 kingpin angle is 7 of course max steering angle for the wheels they are 16 front and rear tire weight is 255 front and rear front tire pressure is 85 for rear it's 75 ahedian is 90 Tire profile is 30, front and rear engine, everything is maxed out. Transmission, vicious limited slip differential. Diff locking ratio is 77%, final drive is 3.70, first gear is 3.29, second gear is 1.75, third gear is 1.41, fourth gear is 1.22, fifth gear is 1.05. 6 gear is 0 0.90 for the brakes brake torque is 1140 front brake base is 40 percent 45 percent no abs and no launch control either but let's get in a lobby hopefully we can get a tan over or something like that as usually we are on fucking red rock right here bro there's no really service to, other than red rock <laughs> to be honest but they still have not fixed the sound of this car bro as as soon as you shift up in like second the sound just literally disappears only backfire is has a sound for it it's fucking annoying as fuck though but maybe we can get a tandem we'll see about that there's a tandem coming right there that was that, that seemed like a smooth tandem right there but we're just fucking doing a burnout fuck it let's follow him but as soon as we're gonna shit in third or some shit like that it, the sound is gonna disappear yep there he goes Not bad, bro. Fucking made him spin out. Let's just do a lap real quick and I'm just gonna show y'all how it handles. The sound is annoying as fuck that it just keeps disappearing, but maybe it's for me. I don't know. I don't know how about y'all, but let me know in the comments if, if the same thing is happening to you as well, bro. Might be just me. I don't know. But over, overall, the car is really good. They just need to fix the sound of this thing. And then it's gonna be golden. It's a dope car. It doesn't look bad either. It's pretty nice. Drifts really well as well. It's nice and smooth. Dude is just chilling right there. Wall tap. I don't want a wall tap. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> when I want a wall tap, I can't wall tap. When I don't need a wall tap, I fucking tap that shit like crazy. But yeah, overall the car is just really nice and smooth. Just don't yank it. As always, I say that. Otherwise, you're gonna spin out, but... Overall, the car is good. It doesn't have like a ton of horsepower. It has like maybe 600 or something like that. Don't really remember right now. Fucking annoying as fuck that we don't have sound for it. Only I, I can only hear the backfire and a little bit of engine sound, but mostly I can hear backfire and fucking turbo sounds. Just tss, tss, that's that's all I hear, bro. And pop, pop, pop. <laughs> that's literally all I hear, bro fucking annoying they need to fix this car really badly in the next update hopefully they're gonna be fixing the car sounds basically this is not the only car that has this fucking dumbass glitch in it and they another thing they need to fix is servers bro we have way too many bugs in this game they need to fix that and add fucking maps like at least two maps in first gear i have sound but once it reaches like 10,000 rpms the sound just disappears and i'm gonna try to follow this mustang right here Bouncy. 
Oh shit, it's happening the wall and shit. As long as you don't hit the 10,000 RPMs, the sound's gonna be there. Oh, no, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> I didn't even get to 10,000 RPMs and the sound just disappeared. We have a pretty good time going with this Mustang right here now. Broken drive, bro. This is nice. Finally a tandem. Yeah, as you can see, this car is really good on catching up to other cars. That Mustang has 1500 horsepower, bro, and we have like maybe 600, maybe 7 at most. So it definitely does not have a lot of horsepower, but it's really fast for such a low horsepower car. Because it's light, it's, it's not heavy, it's not big. So it makes sense that it's going to be pretty quick. But bro is like having a fuckload of angle and sometimes I can't follow that. <laughs> but I'm on his door, I'm on his door bro, right now, at least. I don't have as much horsepower so it's pretty hard for me to hold such a big angle and, and still maintain pretty good fucking speed. So with this car you kind of can't really have a ton of angle if you want to maintain speed. Oh, of course, bro, didn't fucking reset. Sees a tandem coming, but just decided to not reset at all. Even tapped him there a little bit. That was my bad. But it's all good. No worries about that, bro. Oh, there we go. I spun out. Yeah, this car, this car is really good, but just don't take massive angle on it. Because it will spin out. But yeah, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your post notifications on as well. And I'm going to see y'all next one. Peace.